David, we have this breaking news at six. A federal civil rights investigation finds evidence of discrimination and harassment at Boston Latin School. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is in the Satellite Center with details tonight. Louisa? Well, Lisa, the investigation found one violation of the Civil Rights Act by the elite school and raised concerns about other racially charged incidents. But I just spoke with BLS's former assistant headmaster who claims this is all groundless. There is no discrimination at Boston Latin School. Malcolm Flynn reacted strongly to news that the U.S. attorney found evidence of racial discrimination at Boston Latin School. BLS's former assistant headmaster and an educator there for decades essentially called the findings baseless. The students are treated uh, the same way for the same types of offenses. Uh, consistently. A federal investigation was launched into the prestigious school after students and community activists argued the school did not properly handle racially charged incidents between BLS students. And on Monday, U.S. Attorney Carmen Ortiz said the school did violate Title IX of the Civil Rights Act when it mishandled its review of allegations that one student called another student a racial slur and threatened to lynch her with an electrical cord. The investigation found that there were two other troubling incidents and inconsistencies in student discipline. The claim that there's a civil rights violation on a case that we did handle in which a student was actually punished, uh, it seems to me uh, really reaching pretty far. But Flynn calls the investigation purely political. It's why he says he resigned. I needed to tell the truth that the mayor of Boston and the superintendent had failed in their duty to support the school or to at least tell the truth about the school. The BLS has now put an action plan in place to change the racial environment. Live in the Satellite Center, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.